Okay, welcome back to the process video for bird making from a pinch pot. So in the last video, we created this bird from a pinch pot, and now we are about to make some wings for this guy. Please make sure that you're noticing that these wings are not super thick, you guys. So you don't want to add super chunky wings to your bird, but you also want to make sure that you're choosing the right size wing for your bird. If your bird is about this big, which we're all making a pound and a quarter bird, then I've gone through, I have this box, and you can look through the box, and there are some bird wing, some teardrop really, cutouts. So you have to kind of look around and see which one is going to be the right size for your bird. So this is your decision now, right? Just pick them up and take a look. That's obviously too big. That one's too big. This one could work. This one could work. See this guy? Mm. I think it's kind of between these two. I think I'm gonna go the smaller one. I think I'm going to go the smaller one. So I've decided on this one. Please make sure you put everything back in the right spots and that you wash your cookie cutter when you're done with it. I have an extra piece of clay that I brought over. I'm going to show you guys how to wedge this really quick. You're going to push down with the palms right here with this fleshy part. You're going to hold it and push it down. Roll it back in and down. Roll it back in. This is called wedging. And actually it's called ram's head wedging. And what you're doing is creating a little baby ram's head. And that we continue. Three, four. We're kind of going down and out slightly. And rolling it back in every time. There we go. There's my ram's head. Now we can take this. Flatten it, begin by flattening it in your hands. I'm just gonna move my water over. We definitely don't need that much. I'm gonna take some of this off. Please make sure that whenever you take clay and you decide you don't need it right away, put it in your bag because we might need it later. All right. Begin there, and then I'm going to roll. So remember, when you roll with a rolling pin, you're going to go one direction, change directions, flip to the other side, one direction, change directions, flip to the other side, one direction, other direction, flip to the other side. Make sure you make these wings skinnier than we made the leaves. I mean, excuse me, thicker than you made your leaves. And we have to prep these. So this is a little, like two quarters maybe, quarter of an inch, a little bit less. Okay, and now we have to prep it. So we're gonna take our rib and smooth it out. the other side. Prep it two directions. All right. You can decide that you just want to put some scratches as texture into your wings or you can use a texture of any kind. And like I said in the earlier video, we have lots of different textures that you can use. Lots of different textures you can use. You can use. <clears throat> if you use this, you want to use a brayer to roll it on with. This just rolls. You want to make sure you hit the middle. And these guys um, I thought would be cute because they kind of fit that same shape. So I'm going to roll two of these out. And these ones you just hold down with, hold down with your and make sure that you push down on all the areas. And then lift it up. You want to release this clay from the board so it doesn't super stick. And we'll do the next one. 
the other bird that I made, I just used this, used this little crochet doily. So, I mean, it'll all work. There we go. The clay gets thinner when you put texture into it, so we want to keep that in mind. And I'm going to cut that guy out. Push them out gently. Okay. This one. Sometimes it's a good idea to spray these cookie cutters with um, cooking oil so that it doesn't, the clay doesn't stick. We're getting pretty lucky here today. All right, I'm gonna save this just in case. I don't know if I'm gonna need it. I might decide that these wings are too big or too small. Okay, so now we're going to smooth the edge of the wing. All I did was dip my finger in some water. This is important because we don't want any sharp edges. In any project that we make in clay, no sharp edges. There we go. Now it's time to attach. So the first thing I'm gonna do, these are pretty wet right now, so I'm gonna be, have to be very careful picking these up. Mm -hmm. I might need a little tool to help me. All right. The bird wings go large size towards the head, and they kind of come up a little bit. I like to look down from the top when I'm doing this because you can measure them. That's very important so that they're kind of in the same spot together. So you're gonna set them, and you're gonna take a look at them to see I'm happy with the size. If you're not happy with the size, you can make another set. And I'm happy with the angle. I just angled this up a little bit more. I wanna make the other one even. Make sure that you look from the side as well. Yeah, that looks good. That one looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna take my rib and I'm gonna score. And I'm gonna set it back down again to make sure it's in the right spot. Oop. Sorry, I forgot my water. And I'm just putting this, just a little bit of water, not a lot. My bird's pretty wet right now. And I want to line it up again. Okay. Um, I just tap it gently because I don't want to stick it on. I am just creating a little line right here for myself. If you can see that, it creates a little wet spot so then you know where to scratch, where to score. water and touch. Be careful not to touch the texture too much because you don't want the texture to go away. And you want to make sure it's on there so tap it down gently. Looking good. I'm going to do the other side. water, set it on my bird, find the right placement. Don't push too hard because you don't want it to attach quite yet. And looking down in the center, you can see if these are lined up pretty good. Yep. That looks good. It gave me the impression, so I'm going to scratch into that impression. Add a little bit of water, and I'm ready to go here. Okay. 
I'm pressing, pressing very carefully because this bird is very soft still. Okay, once my wings are on, I can take a paintbrush. I'm not even gonna wet it again because it's already been wet from before and I'm gonna seal. I'm gonna go around my wings and make sure that they are sealed. Careful not to get the actual design wet because if you get it wet, you're gonna the design is gonna disappear on you. Another thing you can use to connect your seams is this rubber tip tool. It's got a rubber point. It comes in lots of different sizes and you can just run this along and it closes your seam. Like I said before, this bird is so wet that I'm going I'm trying to be extremely careful. If this was you guys, I wouldn't even let you put your wings on yet. tail wants a little texture as well so I'm just gonna do this you don't have to use the texture mats you can just create a texture by carving in with a pencil but that texture is gonna match I think it's kind of cute I'm gonna show you up close there it is very cute the more I touch it, the more I gotta keep smoothing. The last thing that we need to do with this bird is make the eyes. So I'm gonna take this pen. It's got no point out yet. And I'm gonna come down here, decide where I want the eye, make one. and then try and match up on the other side. Make the other. If you get any scrappies of clay coming up, don't touch them until this bird is drier. Okay, this guy is going to sit here because I cannot even put the hole in the bottom yet. It's way too wet. So I'm going to let this guy sit dry out and then I'm going to come back do some more smoothing and put the ventilation hole in the bottom all right